Welcome back. Game plan 2017. Keep talking to us. Hashtag game plan 2017 and text us on double two four double two. We are asking you tonight, do you think the code coalition will hold to 2017? Barak Muluka, seasoned political analyst, is with us in studio. Thank you so much for making time. And the great North MP, Simba Rati, thank you so much both for making time for us. I'll ask okay. you that question with a very brief response, yes or no. Do you think they're going to hold a neutral 2017? Call. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah, you never know about the dynamics of tomorrow. Okay. So it's possible. Right. And live from Mombasa County, we have Hassan Omar, the senator from Mombasa County. He was, of course, uh, in the rally today, very vocal, the Wiper rally, where we've had uh, a lot of... Uh, information coming from the Wiper Democratic Party. And I'll start with you, Hassan Omar. Thank you so much for making time for us. What is really happening in court? First, is Kalonzo essentially saying, and you as Wiper saying, Kalonzo must be the presidential candidate next year? Uh, first and foremost, I was in the Wiper rally, also in my capacity as Secretary General, not as a necessarily Mombasa senator. Right. Uh, but that said, and done, I. I, I I think it is only reasonable for, for people to expect political parties, uh, including WIPA, uh, to state its claim. Political parties are formed to wrestle power. They are, they, you do not expect us to have a political rally to announce that Kalonzo is going to be anybody's running mate. I think uh, for anybody to expect us to have made that type of a pronouncement does not live in this world. And, and number two, um, we, we, we had our coalition partners say that they have gone on a popularization tour. And they have made all sorts of remarks and declarations, all kinds of condescending remarks, all kinds of uh, proclamations on all sorts of known manners of issues. So what we decided to do is also to embark on a popularization. And once we decided to embark on the popularization, unfortunately, our, our colleagues take offense to that. I think uh, we need to be also fair in our politics. Right. Uh, we need to allow, you know, this, 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 uh, these opinions. And I don't think that this, uh, this, these opinions and contestations threaten the unity of the coalition. I'm getting two, two issues from you, uh, Senator Hassan Omar. You're saying fast because your coalition partners, I believe you're talking about ODM and Ford Kenya, went on in the rampage to popularize their parties. You also decided to do this. Are you saying it came because you saw them doing that and they were being strong no, uh, in doing that? And number two, number two, Hassan Omar, you're also saying no, no. what Kalonzo said, what Kalonzo said today and what the Wiper uh, Democratic leaders were saying uh, today at the Tononoka uh, grounds as regards the presidential candidate. I mean, we should not really question what you're saying at a public rally. Are you saying then it may not be so that if Kalonzo is not the presidential fact bearer, you don't have a problem, court may still be intact and he may still be in court? Listen, there was a general commitment and undertaking by all principles that there was need to popularize our parties. Uh, and therefore, uh, Raila Odinga embarked on his campaigns. Uh, I think Senator Wetangula is up and about. He, he, he launched his presidential bid in Kakamega. Uh, and and Waipa has had his, or its own share of, uh, of activities in there. So we've just decided for the next one year, I mean for the next uh, one, two months, before we go into, the, into, into Christmas and into the new year, we up the crescendo. Uh, and therefore, we, we are doing exactly what everybody else in the coalition is doing. But also to also be realistic in terms of uh, management of coalition politics is that we need to have some of these, uh, of these decisions made well in advance so that then we can proceed uh, to, to, to either popularize the candidate and other issues. But, 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 but that does not to mean that we are, we, are not, we are not interested in the top prize. All right, so okay. for anybody uh, uh, um, taking issue, uh, ODM has been declaring uh, uh, Raila as its candidate and the best uh, candidate to Raila, uh, Honorable Raila declared that he's preparing to go it alone. People have been making all sorts of proclamations. And I'll point I, I out, I'll, point out that right, I'll, these, I'll, I'll come back to you and point out a difference. Are allowed. I'll come back to you and point out a difference that ODM MPs have been declaring Raila should be the presidential flag bearer. Raila hasn't said he must get it. Kalonzo, on the other hand, has said it's time for him to get it. That is the difference. And I'll come to you uh, to respond to that. Let me get uh, Simba you, you, you may not have been Let me get enough, uh, my brother. Yes. I want to agree with my brother, uh, mm. Asan, that um, what is happening is that uh, there is, we are now more united than before. Unlike what uh, the media and the perception of many, that indeed we are disjointed. Because what happens is, here is that there is, we have three um, uh, principles who are moving around into the stronghold and not leaving anything to chance in terms of bringing our voters together. Mm -hmm. And indeed, as, as, as just pointed out, um, uh, uh, the feelings, the feelings of members of parliament 
uh, all individual uh, member of parliament is not the position of the coalition. That one we want to put it very clear. That the position of the, 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 the coalition we are making, um, we're making, we are going to have one flag bearer of, of court. Right. Okay, I want you to respond to today's remarks from Tono Noka <coughs> Grounds. I'll read some of them to you, if we can also get them, uh, the clips played on air. But what Kalonzo said, and I'll, I'll quote him, what, what he said in Swahili, saying, Siwezi pumilia kuwe njia serikali kila wakati, na watu wanatumia jina yangu kupata cheo. Hata kama mvumilivu hulambivu, sitaki tena hiyo mbivu. What is Kalonzo saying here? Um, uh, one, one, um, 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 I'm certain that Kalonzo is trying to put it clear that uh, we cannot afford to be out of the government. He himself has, uh, you know... Is that what he's saying, Barak? Is that what he's saying? I, 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 I don't think so. And I think uh, it is uh, important that we recognize that uh, the principles as uh, we know them are cut from a very different uh, ideological fabric. There's nothing really in common between Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Msioka, and Moses uh, Wetangula. Mm -hmm. Their political track record and history is there for anyone who is keen enough to observe. Mm -hmm. And that uh, they are together out of uh, convenience, uh, out of a certain sense of uh, opportunism. And it's something that uh, keeps each one of them saying, maybe let me hang in there because I might just be the one whom everybody else uh, is going to support eventually. Mm -hmm. And as we gravitate towards uh, zero hour, they are seeing the need to start uh, thinking a lot more about themselves and is basically saying that uh, they are ready to, to bolt. And let's <laughs> make no mistake. We have to bolt out of court. Bolt out of court. We have had uh, Raila Odinga say, we can do it, uh, we can go, go it alone. He said that in Narok. Uh, the the other day. Yeah, but okay. then he, he he talked again yesterday. He said there's unity in court. Oh, of course, he said that, and, and Simba Rati has also said that. Now, do you agree that he's saying there's unity in court right now? Uh, yes, there's a certain kind of unity, uh -huh. and uh, it's the unity of uh, mutual attrition. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, unity of uh, internal competition of uh, a harmful nature. <laughs> it's not a constructive uh, unity. kind of unity. It is a uh, discordant unity if you want. And so you think Kalonzo Musioka is bolting? Kalonzo Musioka intends to be on the presidential ballot paper. And this is a very critical moment for him. If he's not on that uh, paper, he's going to be irrelevant. There's the competition that uh, he's facing and even rebellion at home. You can see that a number of uh, wiper Democratic Party mm -hmm. uh, movement uh, 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 MPs have defected. They have gone to to Jubilee. On the other hand, you are seeing that uh, within the same code, they are cannibalizing themselves. Just the other day, they were receiving defectors from within code, code. itself. I was coming to that. We saw yesterday, we saw yesterday, and Hassan Omar, I believe you're still following this, we saw yesterday uh, Honorable Raila Odinga in Kisumu yeah, at a rally uh, receiving defectors. One of them includes Olago Luoch from Fort Kenya. You are again saying you are united and what you're doing is, you know, uh, I mean, it's very, it's very, it's democracy within the coalition. Where Moses Atangula was in Narok today where he made the pronouncements that Raila should not run for the presidency again. Raila Odinga was in Narok a few days before Moses Otangula. Waipa Party, all of them have a right, like Hassan Omar said, are in Tononoka today. A few days ago, ODM was in Tononoka. Are these parties undoing what the other one is doing, you know, and you're saying you're going to their stronghold? <coughs> What, what I want I want to set a uh, record straight here mm. because what happens is uh, if you look at uh, what I'm looking at uh, talking about of the defectors, mm -hmm. uh, especially those ones who, who defected to Jubilee, they didn't defect because of ideologies. They defected because of the envelopes. Of course, yeah, we, that's we, we, also we, an we, ideology we, we, we. <laughs> 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 of Tumbokrat. Of course, th that one I agree that is Tumbokrat ideology. But what we are talking about is that. Um, uh, if you see uh, Honorable Wetangula uh, making the pronouncement he made today yeah. uh, in Naro, he's entitled. Of course, he, he wants to show also that he's capable of leading the coalition and have that flag, so that, of, of course. Uh, the assurance that I want to give to you, yeah. and I saw it yesterday even when uh, uh, my pack leader, uh, Raila Molodinga, said it clearly that we'll, we will, the three of us will come with one flag bearer. If I can't get it, if Kalonzo get it, I'll support it. If, if it's, it's a rectangular, he'll support it. Therefore, and I believe, I believe even what um, 
uh, Honorable Kalonzo is doing today, what do you expect to say? The story will be different today if we said, I'm going to support who? Raila. We are giving time. Uh, well, the difference is Raila, Raila, for example, and I want you to, to respond to that. The difference is Raila, for example, yesterday said when uh, the party is united, you know, when he was responding to what he was, what he was quoted as saying on Friday, that ODM should go it alone. He responded yesterday and, and said the, party, the coalition is united. But then went ahead to say, in terms of the who will be flag bearer, to quote him exactly what he said is to Tapimana Nguvu. He didn't say, I will be and I should be. Kalonzo Musyoka is saying he should be. No, no, no. That is the difference, isn't it? You see, what, I, what, what, what is entitled, you know, the also terminologies of uh, words. We may not like an, uh, the, the same words that Raila used yesterday, and then we want to, uh, to bring a lift in court simply because of uh, the words Kalonzo used today in, in Tonoroka. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, and, and you agree that uh, the words that uh, are being uh, Kiswahili... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't, you, don't, I don't, you don't see any difference? Uh, I don't think so. Words have value. Yeah. And uh, Mwishmiwa Simba Rati knows that words have value. And we are hearing some very loaded words uh, from uh, all these players whenever they are alone. In fact, from the moment that uh, Moses Wetangula made uh, his abortive mm -hmm. uh, presidential launch bid uh, in Kakamega, mm -hmm. we are aware that uh, we have not even been hearing the ODM people talk about COD. They only started talking about COD the other day. They've been talking about six pieces. Six pieces. So that really, that means that uh, forget about the rest of uh, these mm -hmm. parties. Mm -hmm. And it is the same script, Hussein. We are talking about the same script that we saw in 2012. Indeed, it started in 2011, mm -hmm. 2012, 2013. Meaning? Mm -hmm. That uh, Raila was saying Mudavadi mm -hmm. is not living. Ruto, <laughs> Ruto is not living. So you think Alonso is living? It is the same script, and uh, I'm willing to bet my last coin. That Alonso is living the coalition. Okay, uh, he, he's saying he's willing to do that. <laughs> let's let's get uh, Senator uh, Hassan Omar. I don't know what you, my what you make point? of uh, Barack Muluka's bet <laughs> that this is what has been happening before, and he's very sure that Alonso uh, Musioka will be living. And putting it plainly, what will happen if Alonso is not the cold flag bearer, Senator Omar? Uh, uh, Bar Barak is an analyst and is entitled uh, because he analyzes situations and contexts uh -huh. and I respect him for that but um, he is not sometimes privy to the information that we have uh -huh. so and I tell you assertively that uh, Kalonzo Musioka is not leaving uh, but we, 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 we Kalonzo uh, in his own uh, uh, own conscience uh, believes that uh, there is no space in Jubilee and that for that matter Jubilee must be removed uh, from power, mm -hmm. uh, that Kenyans deserve better, and that is the position of the Wiper Party in its entirety. So, uh, in that in that regard, Wiper is committed to the coalition. But uh, the Kalonzo also believes that there's need for reciprocity. He supported Raila in the last presidential, presidential campaigns. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's need for change of tax. Maybe, maybe there's a, there's a, there's all, we also are persuaded that uh, if you say that any court candidate who supported uh, by any of the three, the other two principles will win. Then why is it that you don't hand it over to Kalonzo Musioka? So these are some of the, the, the intricate issues. When, you, when people are on political platforms, they say whoever is the court candidate will support him and will make him president and we, he will win as long as he's a court presidential candidate. So why then don't you then support Kalonzo Musioka? He, he supported, uh, uh, the, 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 he was the running mate in the last bid. It's only natural that the running mate now becomes uh, the main flag bearer. It's just a question of, uh, you know, giving everybody... <laughs> so Senator, what if that doesn't happen? So I can, I can, uh, I can assure you. What if that doesn't happen? Yes. What, what if that doesn't happen? I think what happens, we have given ourselves a time frame. Uh, unlike many other declarations before, uh, the party thought, yes, it is important to settle this matter conclusively once and for all. We don't want to, uh, Senator Musil always shares these experiences of how they went all over the country, uh, you know, talking about unity. But uh, ultimately, when push came to shove, uh, the coalition, the, the, that unity did not hold. So it is important for us to make a decision in good time, and that's why we've given the, the 25th December, you know, cut-off point where maybe a decision needs to be made. And once we know what this decision is, it is, <laughs> then we either popularize the candidate or uh, and uh, and do other things that uh, that are incidental to winning a presidential campaign. Right, Hassan Omar, you are with some of the MPs in in Tononoka. I can't put 
I mean, I can't hold you to ac uh, account for the words that were spoken by other MPs, but they were with you. Maybe you can talk about this because they're wiper MPs. Uh, John Fu MP, Buddy Twalib, and this is the tone I'm talking about that maybe we need to get clarity on. He was actually saying, Hapana Tisha Sisi, Kama Mnaweza Kwenda Pekeenu, Sisi Pia Nenda Pekeetu. Talking about ODM. Hezwe Nawiti, Nyali MP, saying, Kalonzo cannot wait for all that time. I'm just uh, loosely translating that. David Musila, saying hatujaridishwa na kile ODM imekuwa ikifanya. Code belongs to all of us. Wakendelea hivyo, waipa itaunga mkono any other party. Why speak in that tone? As, as, Barak, as Barak said, Raila Odinga said it in Narok recently. But it really might have said it. Neither Raila Odinga, nor Kalonzo Musioka, nor Moses Wetangula will win the presidency if any of them decides to go alone. It will be an early Christmas party for Jubilee in the literal sense. So I think it is, they are all conscious of the fact that for them to win the presidential elections in, the next, uh, in 2017, they need to, start, to stay united. Back, and to, my question, ba back to my question unity. about that but tone, that Senator unity, Omar. Back to my question, that about, unity. Yeah. Back to my question about that tone that I'm talking that's about. That's the, that's the passion in poly. I was saying, you know, the, the, these, these people... people that's why, saying, okay, where no, you stand no, as a Secretary no, General no, and why, but do you have a problem people, with ODM? These, these people are not... These, these, there's, there's fundamentally no problem with ODM. We okay. have coalition partners. We've been coalition partners for the last three, four years. We've pushed common agendas, the, the removal of IBC. We have advocated for the same things, a, a golden, I mean, a, a euro bond and any other issue that, that is of a, of, a, of a fundamental nature to this country. But I can tell you for a fact mm -hmm. that uh, passions must play out poli politically. No, 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 we are not in... Uh, we are not in uh, we're not in, let's say, these are, these are not news reporters, for instance. I mean, I'm not having any condescending. They, they, we don't just give an analysis. Mm -hmm. So people have their preferences. They have uh, their preferred candidates. And this, this is what politics is about. If you have nothing to compete for, then there's no politics there. I want, I want Barack to respond to that. You, you, those statements you, that are being made in that. You know, I began my career as a, a news reporter, <laughs> uh -huh. and therefore I'm very sensitive to <laughs> <laughs> any efforts said, to... <laughs> he, he's saying that he, want, he doesn't mean to be condescending. Yes, but uh, yeah. uh, Senator Omar, and whom I respect um, very well, mm -hmm. uh, will want to know that uh, he's certainly not a victim of... Uh, amnesia, certainly not a selective amnesia, mm -hmm. that I watched him on the news at 7 o'clock in this station and he was saying himself yeah. that uh, we are open to other possibilities. If this doesn't work, we can still try another yeah. possibility and uh, that possibility uh, excludes going towards uh, Jubilee, but there are other options which may not be caught. And which may not be caught. Is that, is that, and, uh, do you those, were, that, yeah. those were his uh, exact words. And yeah. I think a few names were floated. Yeah. Uh, Hussein, I can respond to that. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Uh, Hussein. I, 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 you know, I, I, uh, Senator Musila made those assertions. And, uh, and, uh, because there is a general view within even the, uh, our party that we need to bring a few more coalition partners on board. That's one of, the, one of the reasons, fundamentally, we are opposed uh, to this joint nomination or collapsing of parties into one. Because there, there will be people who might want to join us, but on their own profile, on their own terms, and uh, within their own party. Because we need to, to build a vote basket that can counter effectively the, 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 the Jubilee coalition. <laughs> and therefore, the, the, every option is on the table. It, the most important thing is to remove Jubilee from power and to ensure that the unity of court is sustained to the very end. So okay. the options that Mus Musila is talking about is that there, there are also plans where you have, uh, you know, some of the coalition partners within the court coalition, you know, bringing on board other coalition partners, I mean, other, other people are, who are playing it alone. I, I know deep down would have had his heart. Mudavadi does not believe he will win the presidency as a standalone unless he's preparing for another contest somewhere. Okay. There are a lot of other candidates out there who, who are pockets of uh, support bases in, in areas that are not necessarily called strongholds and therefore can, can, can help in terms of contributing to the vote party. Right. I want, I want to get Simba Rati to, to, uh, to give his, his, com as his comment shortly. But, but Hassan Omar, again, you said you're giving a window frame until 25th of December. Are you saying you hope by then... God should have sought yeah. out who should be the flag bearer. And my question again, if that day comes and Kalonzo Musioka is not the flag bearer, what happens? We said we want that matter to be settled by the 25th. So we will wait for the 25th and we will we'll make uh, pronouncements further uh, to, that, to that decision on the 25th. How do you want this process to be done? Negotiated?
friends because when Raila Odinga, for example, yesterday said to Tatumana already, Nguru, already they, how, how do you want it to be done? Uh, wait, the already Already there's a process uh, trying to, to work out the best formula of how to arrive to the presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be through, you know, universal suffrage. It could mm -hmm. be through uh, consensus. Does WIPA does does party, party have a preferred have a process way of doing ultimately it? Wiper Party. Uh, I think Wiper Party is represented in that uh, in that little committee, uh, and uh, they have been bouncing back and forth some ideas. I think universal suffrage is one of them. Um, revisiting the spirit of the MOU is another. Consensus by the principle is another. There are several options on the table, and scientific uh, method of also choosing the presidential candidate is also on the table. Uh, there, there are a couple of ideas that uh, that have been mooted, and uh, uh, they need to be concluded in terms of uh, arriving to that presidential candidate by the twenty. 5th of December. Okay. Similarity. And, and I also want you to, to answer me the same thing. How should it be done? No, uh, how should uh, we get the, uh, how should court get the flag, flag bearer? Already there is a committee which has been set, mm -hmm. uh, which is dealing with the issues. Mm -hmm. Of course, they'll come out with the best formula for us to be able to have a flag bearer. Indeed, I want to uh, let you know that one, as, as a coalition, uh, we, 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 we won't uh, this joint all process because what happens that it cannot be that there is a way we can give Jubilee. Nobody is going to go to leave uh, court to join Jubilee. Uh, yesterday, uh, out of uh, the meetings we had in Iksumu, you saw Raila saying and giving it a bad that uh, there are more other parties who are joining court. Mm -hmm. Uh, Wiper can't afford to walk away. Court can't afford to walk away. Uh, ODM, I mean, can't, can't afford to walk away. From court. Okay. Therefore, the position, it's clear that here, uh, the perception, and we plead with you as, uh, as, as, as media, uh, uh, the more, because this, uh, it, it, it's, it's a time now NSIS is coming in. It will do all its bit. Making sure that code comes down. But then <laughs> we're prepared. <laughs> we're sorry, I didn't get that. Who will do what, what he can do? Uh, of course, the, the, systems, the, the system of the government. Where but is but we are talking about today what was said in, at, a, at the Wiper rally. Yeah. That is what we are talking about. And, and that's the feeling. I said earlier that that's the feeling of an individual. Those are statements from Kalonzo Musioka and some Wiper MPs Precisely that, that we had today that, on news. That's what we are saying that mm. there, is, uh, there is a feeling. I have my own feelings uh, okay. uh, of, uh, towards Raila. There is a feeling uh, my brother Omar has towards uh, Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are certain that we are okay. on the court. Are you okay with what Hassan Omar is saying? They want this sorted by 25th December. Uh, is that too late? Is that and, too early? And Do you want to work with their, with their time frame? I don't know if Hassan is in the committee to give us <laughs> that uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> deadline. The committee has to give uh, us the, I mean, uh, you know, uh, the deadline. But, okay. but uh, then if it's wiper, wiper, of course, they will sit down with the ODM and uh, uh, for the Kenya for, okay. for them to give us that. There was supposed one. to be a retreat, I think, from tomorrow that didn't happen again. Is there a reason? Um, the reason, the reason is the easy. Uh, principles, yes. The, the reason is easy that uh, we, through uh, the SEDU we had, and uh, it was conflicting. Okay. Uh, wiper was in the coast. Uh, Raila is in, uh, in Uganda. Of course, we had to give room for, for proper consultation to be right. done within the party. Barak, your winding comments. I think uh, those are the excuses rather than <laughs> the reasons. When I look at what is happening within uh, this coalition, <laughs> mm -hmm. I see that, uh, as Raila Odinga says, they are sizing each other up. And they are looking at a formation where they possibly expect that they could actually all run and that uh, they could force a rerun. And each one of them is uh, anticipating the possibility that they could remain in the rerun. Mm -hmm. And therefore, within that rerun, and that's why you see them sometimes hitting each other with hard gloves. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at one moment, the gloves are removed. Mm -hmm. uh, it becomes bare knuckles. Mm -hmm. Then they quickly come together again. They're thinking about the possibility that there could be a rerun, and I could be the one in that rerun, and uh, I could persuade my former allies okay. in court to back me. Barak Moluka, the great uh, assistant political analyst, but the great MP, the great North MP, uh, Simba Arati, and Hassan Omar, live from Mombasa, Senator Mombasa County, also Secretary General Wiper Party. Thank you so much for making time for us on Game Plan 2017. Keep talking to us. Uh, have your say. The hashtag is Game Plan 2017 and text us on 22422. We're back after this break.